one question which has been asked many times and i have also answered <coughs> you might find you may find some of my old videos talking about uh, sequence risk or uh, returns of uh, see, uh, sequence uh, sorry sequence of returns risk is uh, something which i have spoken about earlier and uh, but i'll uh, repeat it uh, now is uh, uh, suppose you have retired and uh, you need to withdraw money let's say you are 65 and you have retired you have invested all your money and the market goes down right so the market goes down by 8% or something like that so okay your portfolio is down by 8% doesn't bother you much and the next year you say okay i'm going to withdraw so you withdraw uh, again the market goes down but this time it goes down by 14% and the year after that uh, covid strikes and you need to remove a big chunk of money to pay for your mother's uh, hospitalization uh, not covered adequately by insurance so you remove some more money so here you are removing money uh, in a bad market where you are already feeling bad that your uh, your portfolio has been uh, killed by the poor returns over two years and in the third year you again withdraw and uh, then the market remains steady for some time maybe 6 8 months after you have removed what has happened is your portfolio has been uh, had completely and now you are sharing at a portfolio which is about 30 35% lower than what you began with the day you retired so in 3 years you have decimated 35% of your portfolio and now the question is not what happens to the balance of your money the question is what happens to your stomach are you now able to stand steadily and say oh subra says in a bad market you should not withdraw so i will not withdraw or are you saying look whatever subra says i cannot now contribute so now for me uh, capital preservation is very important so let me remove the money and put it into uh, bank fixed deposits or something like that will you re- uh, will you react in panic situation is a very very important question to answer and even saying oh well, uh, last time when the market fell i did not react uh, in panic so i won't react in panic is also wrong because now you have aged and when you were say 55 when this happened you were uh, happily with uh, sitting with your friends and saying oh the market has fallen so i pumped in more money and you did well with your portfolio simply because you had the conviction then on the first of the month you will get paid a salary now with that luxury going away you are uh, dependent on your portfolio uh, you don't have any other sources of income you are not working somewhere now panic hits in and you are worried that uh, the remaining 65% is too low subra calculated and told me that 3 crores is what i require for my retirement and now 1 crore has been wiped out partly by my mother's uh, medical expenses and by the market falling and today i know that subra is going to tell me 2 crores is not adequate for retirement what do i do now that is the question that sequence of uh, risk uh, has to answer so what uh, normally is suggested is uh, if you are dependent on a portfolio that portfolio cannot be a total only equity portfolio or that portfolio has to be so so large that any fluctuation in that even 30% fluctuation in that does not uh, make you lose your sleep now suppose i have a portfolio where uh, i get about 6 lakhs of dividend income and my household expenses are about 3 lakhs or you increase the dividend income to say 10 lakhs of dividend income my, and my annual expenses are 5 lakhs so i have a 2x uh, uh, moat or comfort there uh then uh, it may be different then a fall in my portfolio may not bother me much because i have it's a conviction high conviction portfolio i have built it myself i know that i'm going to get the dividend and a 35% fall in the portfolio does not mean a 35% fall in the um, in the dividend i also know that the money that i withdrew for my mother as uh, expenses uh, is a one time thing it won't happen again right so i know all these things then i may behave very differently however if it is a conviction which is fresh which means i started investing in equity only at the age of 45 and i have only 
से 20 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस और आई स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग ओनली एट एज ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव एंड आई हैव माय कन्विक्शन इज पार्टली माय ओन एंड पार्टली बोरोड आई एम इन अ फैमिली वेयर नो बडी एल्स टच इज इक्विटीज इन अंडर दीज सर्कमस्टांसिस इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू होल्ड ऑन टू माय पोर्टफोलियो ड्यूरिंग बैड टाइम विच इज what will actually give me good returns because after the market has fallen so much or my portfolio has fallen by 35% if the market does a 50% jump one year let's say and i am holding on to the whole thing then my 70 will again become 100 right so i need a 50% return to compensate for the 35% fall and suppose there it happens i have that 70% with which to recover now if at that stage i lose my conviction and i withdraw let's say 50% of equity and put it into debt then out of my total I, from the original i have only 35% left and even the 50% jump will only take it to 52% of my original uh, size uh, right so that is my uh, problem the question is how do i sit tight during these periods so uh, i would suggest uh i've been saying this for a long time and i think this is what uh, anybody would suggest is to create different buckets so if i have uh, different buckets in which i have kept the money so i have my first bucket where i have kept uh, say 10 years expenses like i said 5 years 5 uh, lakhs is my annual expenses so i have kept 50 lakhs in my bucket number 1 uh i have a emergency bucket of about 50 lakhs in equity and 50 lakhs in debt or something like that i have an emergency uh, medical fund go to fund in case there is a shortage in my uh, medical insurance and i have some uh, balance funds and i have some equity funds it at least means that in a year when the market has fallen 10 15% i don't look at my third bucket that is my bucket number uh, equities i don't look at it i have absolutely perhaps no need to look at my bucket number 2 which has got some balance funds uh, balance advantage fund and multi asset funds uh, in bucket number 2 i don't look at even that i just look at bucket number 1 and i know i have enough for my annual expenses i uh, take money out of that even for my mother's uh, treatment so 30 lakhs uh, other 5 10 lakhs for my expenses everything is coming out of bucket number 1 and bucket number 1 is adequately funded for say 7 years expenses so there is 35 lakhs lying there so that whole 35 lakhs for my mother's expenses is available there and another 5 lakhs i may withdraw from my bucket number 2 which is got balance advantage fund where presumably the fund manager has adjusted very well to the uh, changes which happened so th- this is the only way Uh, i would say the best way and the only way to tackle a uh, sequence of uh, return risk the other way of course is to uh, immediately buy an annuity when you retire for a nice sum so you say okay whatever happens to the market it does not bother me because this annuity is going to feed me annuity is again i would think part of bucket number 1 but in case you don't want uh, annuities you invested in gsec or something like that that's good or uh, even better you've taken up a job so the need to withdraw from your retirement portfolio is now not felt you're just uh, 62 63 you you have a job which pays for your expenses for another 2 3 years so that also the sequence of return risk is a risk largely 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 for the retiree who has no other source of income if you are a retiree like suppose i am a retiree i was earning about a crore uh, while uh, at retirement now i have a job which pays me only about 20 lakhs that's still fine because in 20 lakhs let's say i pay about 4 lakhs as taxes i'm left with 16 lakhs and i need only 5 to meet my uh, regular expenses and now at this age the all the balance i put it into my bucket number 1 building up my bucket number 1 for my potential retirement after 3 4 years so i can do all that and at that stage from 62 to 65 sequence of return risk does not matter only at 65 when i've totally retired please understand sequence of return risk hits only those people who are surviving only on their portfolio and who and it is at the beginning stage of their uh, withdrawals and they have no other source of income this this is very very so important now if uh, i had uh, other income to fall back sequence of risk doesn't matter and uh, wh- what happens is when the when bad returns hit you in the first few years your portfolio dissipates so much just by the uh, fall in the market 
so there is fall in the market here in this case removal for his mother's uh, treatment uh, all these things hit you so badly then there is not enough money left in equity so that even a big jump or a big recovery jump does not do enough for your portfolio because you have withdrawn so much you don't have enough strength for uh, running the race okay the race has started you don't have because you uh, dissipated your wealth by withdrawal and fall now uh, getting 10% return in equity is very good for your retirement let us say you plan for that and you have a 5% withdrawal the problem is in the variation so if you get minus 10 minus 12 minus 15 in the first 3 years of your portfolio or you get minus 10 minus 12 minus 15 in the 15 16 and 17th year of your portfolio there is a huge difference because by the time your portfolio has built up very well right your portfolio has perhaps doubled or tripled over the last 15 years and then taking a hit is much easier because you by the you also built your own conviction so if the bad returns happen when the conviction is not there or even when you're very young and you started investing and you lose money your whole family will turn to you and say oh we told you ppf is better why did you invest you knew you young people with new fangled ideas so all that so sequence of return risk is a uh, uh, completely a killer after you retire but even at the beginning it does not help you build confidence or uh, conviction in your portfolio and if you are uh, hackled by family which says don't invest that again hits you so normally people don't talk about sequence of return risk at the beginning of your life but it is important for you to develop your confidence by having good years and then the bad years if you start during bad years actually it is good because uh, you will uh, you, your expectations won't be too high but as soon as you invest if you're hit by bad returns then the ability to stand up to people's pressure and all those things will come into play so this is sequence of return risk a little longish answer but i hope i have satisfied everybody thank you